What's up, Gorb Squad? Famox here from Game of Your Face, and I am finally bringing you a new Star Wars emblem. This one is the new droid from The Force Awakens, BB-8. Here he is. I think this one looks pretty nice. Um, this might be my last Star Wars emblem for a bit. My last two emblems, Darth Sidious and Master Yoda, both Star Wars related, so this might be my last one. The next one is pretty cool. It's a Snoop Dogg. I'll show you a preview of it at the end of this video, but let's get on to the build. Also, I want to mention that this build is uh, both a live build and a coordinate build because you guys have been asking for a while to go back to the live build. So this one, I'm going to see what you guys think of this. It is longer, but that's because it's two builds combined. So I will be making it live and then stopping for four seconds so you can pause to also see the coordinates. Um, so you can get it exactly where I place it in this video. So let's get on to it starting with layer number one So the first layer the first two layers actually just start off with full circle So the first one here is just white and You're gonna copy and paste it um, the next one's gonna be orange, but here's the coordinates All right, so this one's gonna be orange is the orange we'll be using throughout the video So it's the fourth I think or fifth orange down there and then just move it into place and here are your coordinates all right so now for layer number three it's another copy and paste and we're gonna make this one white as well just like the first one i believe so this one looks just like a circle kind of hollow circle move it in and then there's the coordinates All right, layer number four, it's another copy and paste. This one is um, the fourth gray from the bottom and then we're gonna move the blue to 180. We're gonna be doing this a lot. This is the main gray color that we use throughout this build. All right, so now we're moving out of the circles and we're gonna grab this pattern here, make it white. Here's the coordinates for this. And then we're going to grab a monolith. This one is going to be orange. And we're going to actually copy and paste it a few times. So there's the coordinates for that. Copy, paste, and then yeah, I'm just going to shut up. It's going to be moving and you can pause it and see the coordinates. There's four of these. Sorry that I made the mistake on that uh, layer there, the first one. All right, so now we're done with those. Um, now we're going to do the next layer. So for this layer, we're gonna go grab the shape thimble, color picker, and that fourth gray from the bottom. And then, like I said, blue to 180. We're gonna be doing this a lot. Move it into place like so. All right, layer number 11 is half circle. It's gonna be that same gray, fourth from the bottom, blue 180. Stretching it out quite a bit. All right, now we'll grab monolith again. This one's that same gray color. Copy and paste and move that to the other side here. Just shaping this shape out here. All right, so now we're gonna move, grab this circle here, go to layer three, and we're gonna do this orange circle for the other side. And here's the coordinates for this. 
All right, copy paste and make this one white. Kind of the same thing we did in the beginning. There we go. Now we're gonna go and steal these orange monolith shapes and put them on this side now. And again, again, I'll just be quiet and you can just watch this without my voice. All right, so this one there's only three, not four. We're gonna copy this half circle, move it over here. There's your coordinates. And then we're gonna grab a new shape under, um, under icons of the ladder. And we're gonna make this one that gray color. Again, blue 180. Should have memorized that by now. And yeah, move it to place. Perfect. And then we're gonna grab half circle again. And we're going to make this one orange. And this is over the top, and we're gonna copy and paste this. So you got your coordinates here. I'm gonna copy and paste it and then do it again on the bottom. But for the bottom one, we're actually gonna change the color. So I'm gonna press down on, uh, yeah, you're gonna press down on your D-pad, not color picker, or uh, it might be up on your D-pad, to go to materials. And we're gonna grab this uh, like peachy material color. And then on a new layer, I'm gonna grab curved line and make it black. Or no, sorry, this is something else. Yeah, I got confused there. Sorry about that. I make that gray. All right, and once we're done that, you're gonna grab the letter I. And you're gonna make this one gray as well. Third gray from the bottom. All right, now when you're done with that, you're gonna grab a full circle. And it's not going to be white. You're going to change it to a gradient. Uh, color one, keep it white. Color two, make it black. And here it is. Uh, gradient slider is at 50%. All right. Now I'm not going to give the exact coordinates for all of these. These are kind of like um, detail, like um, nails or screws. So I'll just show you generally general area where I'm placing them. You don't need the exact coordinates for these. Just kind of freehand it so it looks nice, it looks even. But uh, as long as you have the, these four, I think there's four or five uh, in the same general spots, and that's fine. <coughs> yeah, there's these five here spots. All right, now when you're done with that, again, you don't have to take too much time on that part. Um, we're gonna grab half circle for layer 30, and this we're gonna build uh, BB-8's head now. So the first layer is white. There you go. Um, now you're gonna go and grab curved line. Go into gradient here, and there it is. Uh, color one white, color two black. And then gradient slider at 37% or at 37. And there's your coordinates. All right, you can copy and paste that, but this one's not going to be the same color. Um, this one's just going to be white, pure white. It's going to be underneath 
the, that other curved line we just did. And then the new layer, you're going to grab a full circle and you're going to move it back a few layers to layer 30. This is going to be like a shadow. It's going to act as a shadow. So you're going to make this pure black or goddamn. You're not going to make this pure black. You're going to make this gray. Sorry, that wasn't the shadow piece. I was mistaken. So yeah, layer 30, that's the third gray from the bottom. Now you are grabbing full circle. I think this one's the shadow. No, it's not. Make this one orange, the same orange we've been using. Um, yeah, we're sh shaping the top of his head first now. All right, copy and paste that. And then change this to white. Kind of the same thing we did at the beginning. Get that orange stripe. And then copy paste one more time. And you're gonna make this one uh, fourth gray from the bottom and then blue 180. That same gray we used before. Just move it up slightly. All right, now for a layer 37, just a copy and paste last time and make it white. Great, so you got the two stripes down at the top of his head. Um, now we're going to, I think we're, this is the time to do the shadow, I think. I'm not sure though. <laughs> So we're going to go into tools, grab, uh, oh no it's not, we're doing eyes. So yeah, grab the rectangle and you're going to toggle this to outline and make it black. Move into place. And you're going to copy and paste this a few times, so copy and paste. This one's just going to be a smaller one on the, on the right side. And then copy and paste. Move this one to the middle. You're gonna shrink it too a bit. All right. Now, layer 41. Go into tools and grab a full circle. Make this black, pure black. Um, or not make this gray. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm not the very not the best at telling you what to do in this tutorial. I made a few mistakes already. So make that gray, and you got the coordinates there. And I'll make the one on top of it black. Copy and paste it. Make it black. All right, copy and paste one more time. I'm gonna make this one pure white. Just shrink it. Perfect, and then we're gonna go and do his, I wanna say his other eye, but I'm not sure if that's what we're doing yet. Yep, his other eye, so we're gonna grab this hollow circle, make this black. And then next layer, you go get um, full circle. Make this black as well. Perfect. All right, uh, and then just one more layer, copy and paste, and it's white. Shrink it down real small now. And now his eyes should be done. And we're gonna move back a few layers and grab this rectangle. Make it orange. And we're gonna make these lines around his head. So there's your coordinates. 
All right, and then we're going to copy and paste it again and just kind of move it over, but also move it, um, turn it horizontal. And then we're going to grab the letter U, under type, the letter U, make this orange as well. All right, copy and paste that U and do the other side of his head. And that's it for those orange lines. And now we are going to do layer 51, which is full circle. Go into gradients. Uh, color one is that third orange down. Color two is black. And then gradient slider. I think we move this one up to 99. Yeah. Um, it says 70 here, but then I layer changes to 99. So move it to 99. And place right there. Perfect. Uh, after that you are going to grab golf flag and this is where we start the shadow so make this one black flip it and move it into place but first we're going to make it opacity 50 percent opacity 50 percent on this we are actually going to change these coordinates um later on in the build so don't worry if you don't get it exactly on point right now because we are going to change it in, a, in the future all right, and then go to tools again, uh, grab this curve line, make this black, and there's that shadow. Um, don't worry if it's overlaying or over hanging over. Just get those coordinates down. You'll see what I mean. And then we're gonna make opacity 50%. You can see it's going over the ball there. It's not perfectly in line, but that, that won't matter later on. All right, so that's done. Now layer 54, we're gonna grab a full circle. And I believe we move this one back. Yeah, we move this one back to layer 25, I think, or 29. We move this one back to layer 29 and make this black. And then a same thing. In fact, the opacity in this one is actually a bit lighter than 50. So we're gonna move the opacity on this one to, lit to uh, 20%. I th yeah, 20% on this one. And there's your coordinates for this. All right, so he's pretty much coming in place. Just a few more things we need to do, the background, shadow, and uh, antennas. So now in this one, we're going to go into tools, grab monolith, and we're gonna work on those ante ante antennas. So go to um, your gradient picker, color two, black. Sorry, color two, white, color one, black. My bad. And then gradient slider stays at 50. Uh, so yeah. And then we're just going to shrink it up and move it back a few layers because we've got to move it behind the head, of course. So, yeah, layer 32. There's your coordinate. Oh, not yet. There's your coordinates. And then copy and paste it because he has two. Perfect. So we got those. Now we're going to go to the back to the very front. Usually we do this first, but uh, first one we're doing it now. So it's, this is the background. Um, this one is not a color. It's actually a material again. So it's going to be this one, make it look like sand. And then we're going to play with this material a bit. I'll give you the coordinates as well to get the bright sandy look. So there, hopefully you pause it in time to get those coordinates. And now we are almost done this one. It's pretty much done. We just got to get that shadow. Like I said, we're moving this one, so move this one a bit, and there's the coordinates for this. And then we're gonna get the shadow of his actual body. So we're gonna go all the way back uh, to layer two and make a new 
shape, full circle, and make it black. And then move it into place. Perfect. So now he is pretty much done. Uh, the last thing we have to do uh, is totally optional. You don't have to add these at all. You could just call it an, an, an emblem right now. But uh, in case you want to do it exactly as it was in my thumbnail, then I'll show you. So color two is that third orange down. Uh, yeah, and then the color one is white. It says at 50%. So I'm not going to give you the exact coordinates since it's just letters. You can really put them wherever you want on the emblem. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. So just make that one there, make, copy and paste it a few times. Because obviously there's three, there's four um, characters B in BB-8 plus the dash. So move that one over. And this one we're going to change it to, um, I think, rectangle. We're going to change it to rectangle medium. And turn it to the side, of course. Make that dash. And then change this B to an 8. And then move it over. So there you go. You got BB-8. And then also we have the uh, like the border, so go into uh, tools, grab square full and toggle it, uh, toggle it into the outline, and we change the colors so it looks exactly like it is in the thumbnail. So it's a um, gradient color again. So color one is the dark orange. And then, or color two is dark orange. Color one is is the slightly is the orange we've been using for the build. Color two is the first orange in the column, and move it up to a hundred. And there you go, BB-8 emblem complete. Just change the opacity of that border, and that is it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the new BB-8 droid build emblem from the Force Awakens. Um, this will, as I said, be probably the last Star Wars emblem for a bit. I might be the Bubba, Bubba Fett later, but as of now, this is the last one. The next emblem is a Snoop Dogg. Now, this is just a phone picture, but this will give you the idea of what it's going to look like. It'll come out uh, in a few days, probably. So, also, let me think what you thought of the new build style. It, might, it took much longer because it's two builds in one. Instead of just doing live build or instead of just doing coordinate build, I combined them both to try and give you guys the best of both worlds. But uh, if you didn't like the length, let me know what you think. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I'm Famox from Gamer Nerd Face, and I'll see you in the next one.